Today we're going to be diving into something that everyone that plays Fortnite knows about and that is stretched resolutions. If you've ever wondered how to set it up on Fortnite for your PC, then you're at the right video. Stretch resolution does give you an edge in your gameplay by just making your screen look a little bit bigger and making the player models look a little bit bigger. Now, at the end of the day, stretch resolution is a personal preference thing. So if it doesn't work for you, then it's completely fine to use native because the performance is exactly the same thing on stretched and on native. However, if you do have a bad graphics card then consider dropping down your resolution to 1720 by 1080 or just dropping down your 3d resolution completely but either way stretch versus native i've already tested this on my twitter it has absolutely zero effect on your performance delay wise it's exactly the same thing but if you do stretch resolution the wrong way you will get way more extra delay than if you were on native so that's how we're making this video so the first step that we're going to do is we're going to go over how to use display scaling in order to set up stretch resolution and this depends on what monitor that you've got so I'm going to go over that first. If this method does not work for you, that's completely fine. You could just go skip around this video and then you could just go to the GPU scaling method, which does add a little bit of input delay depending on your graphics card, but you still get the benefit of stretch resolution. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first thing that you want to do is in your monitor settings, just press one of the buttons on the monitor and you want to find image scaling or fill mode or something along those lines and then make sure that is set to stretched or fill or full, just so you don't have black bars whenever you do this display scaling method if you don't have that option then just make sure to double check where it's at and make sure that you are setting it to fill stretched or whatever the specific setting is for your monitor all right so to continue with the display scaling method all we want to do is go to the link in the description and head over to the custom resolution utility website and then just click download crew 1.5.2.zip then once you have it downloaded just open up the folder that it's contained in now let's just open up nvidia control panel go to adjust desktop size and position make sure that you're scaling is set to no scaling if you set this to full screen or aspect ratio this is still going to use gpu scaling which is what we don't want we want it to strictly just use the monitor to display so make sure it's on no scaling press apply and press yes on that now if you're on amd go to your amd control panel and just turn off gpu scaling and that's all you have to do then close out of this all you want to do now is just go to cru double click on that and then select your monitor from the drop down list which is going to be this lenovo monitor that i've got and then what you're going to do is you're going to remove every single rest resolution except the one that is the native resolution and your stretch resolution so first things first you want to click none on the left and then you want to click delete all under standard resolutions and then you want to click on extension blocks select this click edit you want to find your resolution with the max refresh rate which is going to be right here 1920 by 1080 at 144 hertz i'm going to delete these two that are right under it and i'm going to click on this click edit and click copy now this is really important make sure you copy this specific selection if you don't then you're going to be technically overclocking your monitor so doing this is going to avoid overclocking it and just setting it to the stretch resolution without any unnecessary overclocking then press ok press ok again under detailed resolutions click add and then click paste and then just set whatever resolution you want so for this video i'm just going to be setting 1720 by 1080 because i do like that resolution in fact put that in press ok on that and then just make sure i click this up arrow right here and the reason i click this up arrow is because windows will think that this 1720 by 1080 resolution is the preferred resolution so in every game that i load up with this it's going to constantly set the resolution to the stretch resolution without me having to do any extra editing in the game user settings or any of that then i'm going to press ok on that i'm going to double click restart 64.exe it's going to restart your graphics card drivers so i'm going to double click restart 64.exe and then come back to you guys once i've done that all right everybody so once you've double clicked that it's going to say graphics driver is restarted all you have to do now is just press exit close out of cru now we don't really need that go to display settings by right clicking on your desktop scroll down to the bottom go to advanced display click display adapter properties and then just click list all modes then scroll down to the bottom and you should see your stretched resolution at the bottom at your preferred refresh rate once you've done that press ok on that and then press apply on that and then just wait around five seconds for your monitor to turn back on however if your monitor does not turn back on that means that this resolution just doesn't work on your monitor at all so what i would try is testing out a different resolution or testing out a slightly lower refresh rate but this doesn't work with this specific method then you most likely cannot use display scaling so then you have to use gpu scaling which is done through the nvidia control panel or amd control panel but as you guys can see for me it's worked properly as you guys can see my desktop mode is 1720 by 1080 at 144 hertz and my active signal mode which is the most important part is the same exact thing as my desktop mode now if this worked for you and your monitor pops up then that means good to go but if this worked for you and desktop mode and active signal mode are not the same then you need to make sure that your nvidia control panel is set to 
no scaling. If you didn't follow the first part of this video where I told you to set your monitor buttons to fill or stretched, then you might have black bars on the side of your monitors. If you have black bars, go back to the beginning of this video and then just double check that you did set that setting to fill or full or whatever the option is to make sure that you don't have any black bars. Once you've done that, you should have zero black bars and it should be stretched on your monitor. Now, the next step for this specific resolution is you want to open up your game and make sure that it's opening up in your stretch resolution. So for me, I'm just going to open up Fortnite and make sure that it's in 1720 by 1080 using display scaling. So as you guys can see, my game is fully stretched. It's in 1720 by 1080. I'm just going to double check by going to the settings. And if you did this specific step properly, then you should see that your resolution is at 1720 by 1080, just like so in the game. If you're on a 360 hertz monitor or a 540 hertz monitor, this method is probably not going to work. If you're on a 360 hertz monitor, then there is a way to do this regardless that it doesn't let you set it at 360 hertz. However, if you're on a 540 hertz monitor, I've tested it on a 540 hertz monitor. This exact method did not end up working. So I told the person just drop it down to 360 hertz and it did actually work at 360 hertz, but at 540 hertz, it did not work. So if you're on a 540 hertz monitor or a 390 hertz or some crazy number for a refresh rate, I'd rather just stick to native and then keep that higher refresh rate just because the benefit of the higher refresh rate outweighs the benefit of your stretch resolution. Now I'm going to move on to basically how to set up stretch resolution without this method if you're not able to use this method. So I'm just going to close out of my game and then show you guys how to do that. All right, guys. So if display scaling did not end up working for your specific monitor and your specific PC, then it's not to worry. We're just going to go over how to set up stretch resolution using the GPU scaling method. However, if you do notice that you get extra added input delay using this method, then I would just stick to native personally. However, if you don't notice anything, then it's completely fine to use this method. What you want to do is open up your NVIDIA control panel and then you want to go to change resolution. Then you want to click customize, then click create custom resolution after you've checked enable resolution is not exposed by the display. Then you want to set this to your stressed resolution, which is going to be 1720 for me. I'm going to click test. Your screen is going to flash black and then turn back on. You want to press yes once it turns back on. Then you want to press OK. Then you want to go to adjust desktop size and position. Make sure this is on full screen for your main monitor that you're setting to stretch resolution. Then all you have to do now is just close out of this. Go to display settings. If you want to set your desktop to the same resolution as your game, scroll down to the bottom, click advanced display, click display adapter properties, list all modes, and just find 1720 by 1080 and then set it to that resolution. And I just press keep changes. So as you guys can see, my desktop and active signal mode are both different. So my desktop mode is 1720 by 1080, but the monitor sees 1920 by 1080. So this does add a little bit of input delay due to this reason. If you do notice this input delay, then I would just recommend using native resolution, which requires zero scaling. If that's the case and you do notice the input delay, go back to native. Now for this method to work, you do have to change your game user settings for Fortnite. So press your Windows key and R, type percent local app data percent, press F, go to Fortnite game, saved, config, Windows client, double click game user settings, press control and H on the keyboard. Now the first box you want to put 1920 and in the second box you want to put 1720 and then press replace all. And now if you're using a resolution like 1680 by 1050, then you would just type 1920 in the first box and then 1680 in the second box, press replace all. And then you would click the first box again, change it to 1080 and then change the second box to 1050 and then click replace all again. That's if you're using that resolution or whatever resolution that you're using. And then just click file, save, close out of this after you've saved it. And then you want to right click on this, click properties and make sure that it's checked on read only. What read only is going to do is going to make it so the game just reads the file and doesn't write anything new to it. So every time you restart your game, it's going to constantly boot it up in stretch resolution, even if you set it to native on accident in the game. So once you've done that, just make sure it's on read only, press apply, press OK, boot up Fortnite and make sure that it's in stretched resolution. So let's do that. All right, everyone. So as you guys can see, my game is completely stretched at 1720 by 1080 and there's no black bars and it's just completely fine. I'm going to go to the settings and then if you're using this specific method, it's going to say your resolution is on native. If it does say that, just completely ignore it. Your screen is stretched. And the reason for that is just because the game does bug out whenever you set custom resolutions and custom frame rate limits, which is completely fine. But if your screen, as you can see, it is stretched and it looks like 1720 by 1080, then just completely disregard this resolution, even though that is saying it's at 1920 by 1080 because it's not. Then go back and then that's pretty much it. Your game is completely stretched. You're on 
1720 by 1080 and you're ready to test this out and then hop in the game and just get some kills and see how the stretch is and see if you're going to be gaming like the pros hope you guys enjoy this video and hope you guys are on stretch resolution due to this guide if you are then make sure to share this video to other people that are wanting to switch to stretch resolution temporarily or switch to stretch resolution completely but other than that if you guys are interested in a full pc optimization service where we optimize your bios overclock your cpu overclock your ram and then do every single thing that's possible to your computer in order to ensure zero input delay and ensure that there is the maximum fps possible for your computer then go to the first link in the description zilly.net and book a pc optimization service comment down below what resolution you're using with this guide or comment down below if this video actually helped you finally get stress resolution but other than that it's going to be pretty much it peace out